I mean, I be needing things. I don't like to go without. Then that also makes me think about myself and how I show up in the world and how I used to show up in the world and the reasons why I showed up that way. You know what? Let me do that. Let me give it to, let me give it away. I have two. Yes, I'm not a terrorist or a, a convicted felon. They smells. Thank God I pack my uh, morning. Well, any morning. Hold on. Good, good afternoon. What up? Welcome to this week's vlog. Here we go. You know, I have been fully invested. This I'll link below from Target and the necklace, Amazon at the earrings. I have been fully invested in this podcast, which is also on YouTube, which I love. I love when podcasts are also on YouTube so you can watch the people talking. I actually prefer that better now, I see. And in this film, the film setup is, is, is phenomenal. If it was some raggedy setup, I wouldn't want to watch it. The film setup makes it very good. This is called Dear Future Wifey Podcast, and I started from the beginning. You know, I start from the beginning when I watch podcasts. This stuff is so good, man. These conversations be having me thinking about relationships, single dating, and marriage relationships. To me, I'm lotioning my arms. It's not dirty, excuse me. It's dry. <laughs> That's a problem. This is so good. I love to continue to learn and to think and to hear these different perspectives. And this is just really, really good. If you haven't heard of it, you should look it up. Dear Future Wifey, it's not just about marriage. To me, everyone needs to watch slash listen to it. It is just that good. It'll have you thinking. Some stuff is like, but a lot of it I'm like, Wow. So I'm enjoying that right now. I'm going to blot to make sure that I don't get that gunk in the middle. And I'm editing. But yeah, this is some good stuff. Like this, 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 right now I'm on podcast episode 116 and it's talking about opposite sex friendships in a relationship. This thing for guys to take a lot of selfies is weird because girls usually switch up their hair, their makeup, their outfit, their something. Like you be the same person in every picture. <laughs> And I'm like, I just think that that is kind of a, a type of feminine thing to do. I don't really know too many guys that just love taking pictures yeah, no. unless they're, you know, kind of very much into themselves. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think women do it because it's just like a girly thing to yeah, do. Yeah, hello. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I've been taking pictures my whole life, you hello. know? <laughs> like, I don't know. Okay, but anyways. So, so you're saying you're open to a relationship. You want to be married. You desire to be married again. Yeah, but, but but to the right person and I, somebody who is genuinely like it's certain qualities I look for now that I didn't look for before. Good. But like I really want somebody who is kind, like not just kind to me. Yeah. There's something about and it's funny. Uh, me and Dee Dee, that is the host of the morning show that I'm on. She and I had this conversation because I couldn't put into words what I was looking for. And when she said the word kind, I was like, that's it. A kind-hearted person puts others before themselves. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want you to just put me before yourself. I really want, uh, obviously with some boundaries, because we're not going to talk about you keep putting your mom before our relationship. That's a whole other topic. Which means you got to go get your mama some money. Which, what? You just, just gave some money. money. <laughs> 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 what up girl okay so a few things i've been really just relaxed in the past several days i thought it hurts my outside relaxed in the past several days because on a holiday i just been like i just want to just chill and not do so much anyway i'm like let me update you on what i'm doing right now so i just finished filming a video uh, for igtv where i installed this hair a half up half down situation and now I'm about to hop on a brand call right now. I have my earpiece in. Love these earpieces. I talk about them all the time. Link them below as well. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> my studio is a mess. You can't see it. <laughs> it's a mess. I got some empties right here. I'm going to do an IGTV video on that. I also want to do my makeup. So that's also going to be an IGTV. Today's an IGTV day. So today I will, if I do what I said I'm going to do. I will have recorded three IGTV videos. And then my goal was to record two YouTube videos. But oh no, we're pushing it right now because my cutoff time is four o'clock. I had to set a cutoff time. When I go pick me up for four o'clock and then no more work after that, usually we go have to see. If I'm moving quickly and I'm on task, I really should be able to do that. I blended, I blended a smoothie for myself. This is banana, chia seeds, almond butter, out pecans, almond milk, and like two pieces of strawberry that was just 
there. Blended it and it, I inhaled that thing down and then I had to take it out. This is my other mic. I ended up getting another one of these Movo mics to attach to my suspension situation because I like the way it sounds better than my Rode video mic goes. So now I have two of those things. I'm trying to get rid of them. I don't know what to do with them. They just have a little bit of static in it. At least that's what I hear. I hear a little bit of static. I don't know if it's my connection cables, but I don't have time for games. So I have two of those. If you want it, you know what? Let me do that. Let me give it to, let me give it away. I have two. So if you want it, first two people to comment anything, comment anything re related to this video, but then also comment hashtag giveaway road, M O uh, excuse me, R O D E Mike. So I know which one it is because I do these randomly and I'll forget like what you're talking about. Comment anything, hashtag giveaway road Mike, and I'll know. And the first two that I see, I'll tap you for your address and send it to you. Yeah, I don't have any use for it. I just can't stand stuff being cluttered around. What's going on? I'm waiting on a phone call. What's going on? I'm flying spirit for the first time. You have a flo flown spirit? Can you tell me if I'm in for a rude awakening or what? I'd, I already feel like I'm never going to do it again. Yes, I'm checking a bag. Yes, I'm taking a carry-on. If you see me pack for Puerto Rico, you know what I do. This is just what I do. I need all my belongings. I need all my stuff. But I'm nauseated at the fact, this is close because I was filming, excuse me, in case you're wondering, but and now it's in the frame. I'm just nauseated at the fact that, and then I and then I watched the video after I had booked that the seats are narrow and don't worry about, don't bother paying the money to get the upgraded seats to be a little bit wider. It's a two and a half hour flight. So I'm just hoping that between working and sleeping, it'll go quickly, but I'm nauseated. I'm like, ugh. anyway. Yeah, where's the phone call? Where's she at? Yeah, I need to mail, return. I have bought this extension cable, an ethernet cable to help my uploading speed go faster for my videos, but it's like the same and it's annoying because I have the cable going from my desktop to the living room. It's a 50 foot cable. It It's a great length. It works. It's, it's long enough. It's just, I don't need it. So I'm going to return that to Target, excuse me, return that to Best Buy. And then I'm um, returning this dress that I got from Amazon. The zipper was broken. I ordered it again. So I, I ordered a replacement. It's on its way. I'm returning the old one. I love how Amazon makes returns easy, girl. I ain't got, kind of, got that kind of time. And I have a few new outfits. I, or recorded a, I recorded a pretty little thing trying haul. I bought a new lens because I was using this camera, but in order to get me in the frame well, this camera had to be really far from me. And because of that, I couldn't see whether or not I was in focus. So when I looked at the footage after I had already been done with it, there are a lot of points where the camera was trying to auto focus on me and it wasn't, I'm irritated. I don't want to film it again, but when my new camera comes in on Friday, I just might. Excuse me, my new lens comes in on Friday. I just might film it again. I like things to be great and high quality, so I don't know. That's what I'm saying, it sounds ridiculous not to refilm, right? <sighs> Annoyed by that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm thrilled about getting this new, did I say camera? It's a lens, excuse me. Thrilled about getting this new lens. Yes, I'm waiting on that to come Friday. Looking forward to it, I can't wait. I hope that it gives me the wide, wide view that I need because my studio is relatively small although for some people they may feel like this is big this is a bedroom but where the camera is because of the window and where I'm standing I need it to be I need the lens to give me width width yeah it can't be too close because I also want to show the shoes that I'm wearing when I'm doing the try and hauls a lot to consider when you're doing stuff like this but so important to be able to get the different products that I need to do my job well. So when that comes in, if it's the right lens, if it doesn't work, I'm going to return it. When that comes in, it will be my third lens that I have. I have two lenses already. I use the Canon 90D. If you know, you know. If you don't, now you do. The Canon 90D and I have the Sigma. I begin with the Sigma 35 1.4, which is fantastic. It shows a lot of my background. I use that normally for my YouTube videos. Then I have the Sigma 50 millimeter one point I think it's four I use that for my IGTV videos because it's more cropped or zoomed in if you will and I love that for IGTV and then now this one will go out more which is going to be perfect because when I'm doing the try and hauls you don't need to be so close to me now I hope it will still autofocus so when I go close to the camera it'll autofocus when I'm back 
you should be able to see more. And then it's connected to my desktop and my monitor, which if you see my studio tour, you know what I'm referring to. If not, watch the studio tour video, link is in the caption. So I'll be able to see myself in the monitor to ensure that I'm in focus. But when I'm looking at this camera, the screen is so small and the camera was so far from me that I don't even know. I barely knew what was going on. So irritated. Where's she at? She ain't gonna call like, what are we doing? If not, I got things to do. I can't be sitting here doing this. So many emails to get to, what is this? All right, I don't know what's going on with that. I need to move on to my next task. The majority of my prayer life happens throughout the day and it is constant. It is before this podcast. It is as the podcast is going, I'm asking God, what do I say to this question? And so I think that's the way we've got to live is constantly bringing God into what we're feeling. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of The Courtney Sanders Show. Today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, which is how to work smarter and not harder. And this is so important, especially for women entrepreneurs, because the stakes are different for us, which we'll talk about in this episode. But um, I just get really annoyed with, you know, this idea that you have to be a martyr and you have to absolutely kill yourself in your business um, just working super hard. You can't have any time for any friends, family. You can't even have time for sleep in order to be successful because that is just not the case. And I say that as someone who definitely grinded in the beginning um, of my business. Part of it was because I had the capacity to. Good morning, girl. Listen, I'm on my way now to my TSA pre-screening appointment. Years ago, I wanted to do this when it first launched where you could go and get pre-screened so that when you travel, you go on that shorter line and don't have to take off your clothes or your shoes. I'm so sick and tired of that and part of my goal for goals part of my goals for 2021 is to travel every quarter because i work hard and i deserve it so we are traveling every quarter okay amen sometimes twice a quarter okay and because of that i'm like i don't want to be in those long lines and i also don't want to be taking off all my clothes it's annoying okay i know it's just two things but it's still annoying so I'm gonna go do that, and I believe that when I, when one person has TSA pre-screening, whoever you're with can go with you to the short line. I believe I'm not sure if it's one person or whatever. Either way it goes, I'm on my way now there to do it. I do believe it's eighty or eighty-five dollars for five years, and you bring two forms of identification, which I have with me, and I'm excited about it. Okay, so that's where I'm headed right now. And then I have a gap of time. I have work to do. So I'm going to find a Starbucks. I'm, I have a headache today, but it just is what it is. I feel groggy. I feel sleepy, but life goes on. And then I have lunch today with my girlfriend, Carmen. She's a content creator here in Houston. And we're meeting up for lunch. I just love that. It's really important for me to set aside time to do things that I love because Yo, we work so hard and being an entrepreneur, it's easy to make, it's easy to think like, okay, I got to work Monday through Friday. Well, no, I don't because I'm my own, I'm my own boss. So if I want to take a Thursday and let it be a leisure day, great. If I want to sleep in on a Monday and take a day off, great. If I want to take a Friday off, great. So I'm learning to push myself to do those things and get out of the mindset of, Oh, I have to be working. Yeah, there's always work to be done, but I also want to enjoy the fact that I am a business owner and I'm doing, thank God, very well. And I can I can take a break whenever I feel like it. It just makes me so happy. So the lunches that I do are important to me. And honestly, they're usually once a week, but I'm saying usually because it hasn't been set in stone, but I'm about to make it set in stone, even if I'm going by myself, because it's that important. It's that important. It's the kind of stuff that when I was working in an office, I wish that I could do, but obviously, I, I mean, you know, you go to lunch, but come on now. You know, you are rushing back to get back on time. You know, this lunch going to be like three hours. You see what I'm saying? Like, we just going to do what it is, do whatever. You did. It just feels good. Anyway, I say all that to say I am very grateful that I work for myself and I make my own schedule and I can do these things. The pre-screening is going to be all the way clutch because travel, short lines, here I come. Yes, I've been screened. Yes, I'm not a terrorist or a, a convicted felon. Uh, you can let me go to this line. 
I don't want to have to get a body scan just to go through. You see what I'm saying? I do believe that this appointment is short. I don't know, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do that. And I'm listening to this podcast. I love listening to podcasts. I love to further my learning. It's important. It's important. I feel like it's important for everybody to me. I used to live my life where it was just TV, music, life, whatever. But as I got older, it's like, yo, what are you doing to further your education? Not that you're in school per se, but what are you doing to further your knowledge in any area? For instance, I love to watch TV shows that are not love. I enjoy watching TV shows like, let's say, Atlanta Housewives or Married to Medicine, right? They're entertaining. We get that. A lot of the stuff is inappropriate. I understand that too. I do cringe. I'm like, what in the world? But when I'm watching, not only am I here for the fashion and the beauty, but I'm just like, wow. I understand. Like, I'm dissecting people in my brain. I don't be sending off phone calls. Calls, but my brain, I'm like, wow. She must be doing that because she got daddy issues. Wow. I remember when I used to be like that. Wow, I remember when I used to think that way. Wow, she must really be lost. Wow, he must really be, whatever. I'm just, when I'm watching, I'm seeing more than just the show. And that honestly is God. I can see more than just the show. I watch Ready to Love, which is crazy as well. <laughs> like, what? And when I'm watching, I am seeing more than just what they're giving. I'm watching and I'm like, yo, I, it sounds to me like, he ain't going to be the one. And then why? So in my mind, I'm processing what I'm seeing. And to me, that is also a, a way to learn and reflect back on just life in general and just everything. I I find value in not just not only just watching something, just to watch it. But what am I learning from this? Aside from the crazy chaos and the whatever, what am I learning? Like, what am I looking at right now? I literally be watching and be like, he has to go to therapy. He, he, it sounds to me like there's more to the story that he's not sharing. Or, you know, wow, yeah, she seems very closed off. Maybe it's because of what she mentioned was an issue with her mom. She wasn't shown she wasn't shown love when she grew up, and that is showing itself in her dating relationships. No wonder why she comes across cold. No wonder why she doesn't show a lot of emotion and affection. That explains it. And I'm just watching it, and it's all coming to me as I'm watching. And I'm like, wow. It's just fascinating to me. It's fascinating because then that also makes me think about myself and how I show up in the world and how I used to show up in the world and the reasons why I showed up that way. I'll be watching these shows like, wow and wow. I just thank the Lord for the revelation. You see what I'm saying? And when I watch these shows, I get a lot of revelation for myself. Anyway, that's that. So yeah. On the way to TSA, lunch today with Carmen and Kim. We're going somewhere healthy, girl. Come on, we gotta, ooh, gotta make healthier choices. <laughs> and I have on this Amazon dress that I bought a while ago. In fact, I shot in this dress, I want to say, a year ago. Yeah, it was a year ago. I'll link it. It is short. I haven't worn it since then. And I'm like, dang, this thing is short. I remember this thing being short when I put it on, too. I was like, what? <laughs> so I have on my Spanx underneath. I had to pull it up a little bit so you can't see my shorts, but uh she's a shorty you know and when you got these when you got this hourglass you know what i'm saying <laughs> it be doing things with short dresses you feel me okay and then i have on these brown heeled sandals from target that i got a year ago but i'll show you when i get a second and yeah <laughs> Morning. Good morning. Close the door. Uh, did you have an appointment today? I do, 9 o'clock. So, what documents did you bring? I have my passport and my ID. I just need passport. Okay. Will there be something on my boarding pass that indicates free check? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, the boarding pass will essentially tell me if that airport has TSA free check. Okay. And will it be like a Will it be obvious to me or is it a code for the people at the airport? Obviously. Okay. Okay. Right. Will it just be like, will you thumb print first? Line up to this triangle. Apply pressure, you're going to hear three beats. After the third, you can remove your fingers off the machine higher. During this very unprecedented time, we are here to serve the needs of the country. Take your picture, you can remove your face mask on that green line, looking for the camera, and you can take picture. One, two. Well, that was easy. I hate when people are rude. 
for no freaking reason. Like, oh, like, ma'am, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? Are you angry at life? Is something going on with you? Why are you so rude? Annoyed. Whew, let me assign my mileage because you know. I use QuickBooks, self-employed, and it tracks my language, praise the Lord. All right, now I have two hours before lunch. Dang, Lord, tell me I have, tell me I have a terminal. I brought my big bag today because I needed to carry my camera and my computer. So this is the bag that has everything in it, honey. <laughs> Lord, to all oh, praise his name. I mean, this bag got everything in it. I mean, everything you need. You already know your girl always. Oh, hold on, sanitizer. I sanitized in there, but let's do it again. We ain't doing that. Got to make sure my hands are clean. I'm going to take this towel and all, bless his name. Got to just have this stuff. And I want to touch up my makeup. Now that masks are no longer required, it's like, do I want to deal with this stuff anymore? I don't. I am vaccinated and I do keep my distance. The sign said masks encouraged. It didn't say that it was required. And my makeup just got messed up a little bit, which is a little annoying. <laughs> I'm about, um, I'm about to stop. I mean, I carry the masks with me. If I'm going to be around people, I'm going to put it on. If I'm going to be close to you, I'll put it on. But as a rule of thumb to just be having it on all the time, I'm annoyed by it. I got to be honest. I obviously do want to stay sick. I only got one. In I only have one in here. The devil. Oh, my, 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 my. I need to buy some more. Hold on. Do I have any Tylenol in my armrest? Listen, my car is the car that has stuff in it. Do you understand? Re reusable straws, hydrocortisone cream. Okay, we got face facial spray. We got eye drops, girl. We got nail, we got tampon. I mean, we got all kind of stuff because you be needed. I mean, I be needing things. I don't like to go without, okay? I don't like to be without. And I, I thought I had an extra bottle of Tylenol in here but I obviously don't I have a big bottle of Tylenol at home and have to refill this so in order to remind myself that this needs to be refilled I'm gonna put it right here next to the cup holder but it's a sore thumb Oop, hold on so I can remember hang on I keep this thermo thermo flask in the car it's so good it's it's warm it's not cold I don't like my I don't like my what you call it, my water's be cold anyway. It, it, it's painful to drink. I mean, like what? It's uncomfortable to drink, let me, let me fix that. But I love how it does keep your ice, keep your drinks cold for 24 hours. So when I do put ice in it, I like to let it melt and all that. Okay, fantasimo. Now I'm going to go to Starbucks and then go close to the location we're gonna meet at because I am far out right now. Ooh, I see Mod Pizza, but we're eating lunch, so. Let me not do that. Let me see how far I am from that location. That's what it's designed for. It's designed for men um, who are married that domestic stuff. And they were just able to just, you know, come to work and do their thing and just go home. And so women, we work differently. Our energy patterns are differently. Uh, our energy patterns are different, excuse me. Uh, oh, Jesus, this bag is heavy to the Z. Like, what? Oh, I got my laptop in here, all kind of stuff. Do we need a mask? This is said masks no longer required. So, he has one on. I'm not, I'm not trying to be the person that's arguing wherever I go. But I could have sworn that the governor said no more masks required. And the shield is cool, but... It'd be all big and stuff, and then you gotta put it in your bag. This is just easier to just take this, crumble it up, throw it away, whatever. So there was no point in me fixing my makeup. <laughs> oh god. Here we go again, girl. Here we go again. All right. I'm hungry too. Ugh. Hey, the cold brew. Can I do that with sugar-free? 
syrups. Okay, cool. The medium one is good. Yes. Sugar free, both of the syrups, please. Yeah, both of them. No, thanks. that works and I just walked into this one I'm not sure if it's because men use this too this place smells thank god I pack my uh ew. pack my bath and body situations this place bangs I can't even use the bathroom properly if it smells now I'm about to go meet my girlfriend for lunch and I just touched up in the car I just I, as I've gotten older I value touching up and just being just caring about how I look, how I smell. It's just important. It is important. Let me touch up my fragrance. Do I have a spray fragrance? Because the roll-ons, obviously you can't roll onto your, I mean, my, I suppose you could, but I can roll onto my clothes. <laughs> I want to spray my clothes because fragrance will definitely stay in your clothes more than it will on your body. Hello. This is a sample that I had gotten from the, is it called the Journey? journey set where you buy a whole bunch of samples it's a it's a kit and it was a sample kit for ellis brooklyn yeah because i had gotten the one i like from them b it's called b so this is one of the samples from them you can't see it this is called sci-fi and i put a bunch of them in my bags oh this smells good nice and strong get a little bit of that and this hair is synthetic so let's go ahead and spray the hair 
because you know this is definitely gonna hold it's gonna hold a scent it's gonna hold a good scent it's gonna hold a bad scent too amen yeah amen hello i just want to smell good for myself what the heck when you when you pass by somebody no matter who it is you want them to be like oh that woman smells nice yes praise his name she sure does not like oh what was that <laughs> I ain't trying to have that. No. Even though I'm not going to hear it, I just want to know that I did what I could for me. Shoot. I love it. My husband embraces me and I'm like, oh, you smell so good. I love, I want to also smell good. Come on. You got to give yourself, do something with yourself. <laughs> do something with yourself. Hello. So yeah, I'm waiting on her. Got my Key Australia sunglasses on. We'll link these in case you are interested as well. This hair is on its last leg. I told you she's synthetic. I can barely run my finger. I can barely run my fingers through her. Okay, she getting caught, but that's okay. All she needs to do today is just sit pretty. I don't need her to do anything else. Just sit down and look pretty just for now. And then she's going to go in the trash. Praise his name. I suppose I could comb her and stuff, but I ain't got that kind of time. $40, I'll just buy a new one. You gotta laugh because girl, I'm not doing this. You gotta see. You gonna find out. I ain't doing this with y'all. I sure am. Sis. I sure am. Amazon. I need the link. <laughs> you sure do. Because I, I can't play these games. I'm hot. I need the link. I don't have my other one. The other one could actually sit on the table. Hold on. Maybe she can too. Hold on a second. I think she can. Oop, stop it. My finger keeps on hitting it. She I better sit. Can. She better sit down and fan me down. I, I, we ain't playing these games. Yes, we sure. Yes. He is, oh, it's a vibe. It is only a vibe. It's a vibe. She's like, oh, I'm not a portable fan. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get you on. You gotta get it. We ain't playing these sweaty games. <laughs> now thanks for hanging out with me this week i realized i never do outros so here's an outro today have a great rest of your week mm -hmm.